we are about to start a long awaited series that we've been wanting to start for a very long time. So, in this video, I'm going to teach you from A to Z how to register for an MT5 account and start trading Forex or trading volatility and how to trade them successfully, all right, with your mobile phone, all right. If you have a laptop, it's a great advantage for you, but if you have a mobile phone, you don't have anything to lose because I'm going to be taking you through everything on mobile phone because I believe most of the viewers are using mobile phone. But if you have laptop, laptop is always good for a clearer view, a more, much more detailed analysis. But in this video, I'm just going to take you through how to start starting by creating a demo account on a derive and how to effectively leverage on that demo account uh, by practicing and then, uh, you know, be able to implement a lot of strategies and then be able to use it same way on your real account and make a whole lot of profit. So let's just dive right into the video and then see how it works. So if you have any questions, challenges, please uh, comment. All right, comment and make sure you subscribe to this video, to this channel rather, and then uh, like this video so that YouTube algorithm will push this video as far as it can go. For you to really grab a lot of detailed explanation I have to make in this video, please do not skip. All right, watch these videos to the end. All right, there are some detailed analysis. I know most of you are already familiar with this MT5. You are already familiar with some of these things. All right, whatever I'm giving to you is something that I do and I practice as well. All right, so I'm going to be spilling it all out. So please don't skip any part. If you skip any part, you might miss out a lot in the in the in the book. Let us broaden our community. So let's see you. All right, this is what you need to do to have an MT5 account. I'm just going to take you through the, the whole tutorial to have an MT5 account for yourself from A to Z. All right. So first of all, what you're going to have to do here is, um, you see, this is a real account. Now switch to demo. You can MT5 account is an account that is created. It's, it's a it's a different method of trading from your usual binary.com trading your usual option trading. So what you just have to do is you with mt5 you can create within your binary you can create uh, both demo and re account of on mt5 all right so first of all what you are going to do because binary.com has a kind of disconnected from mt5 like what if you created if you created an account this is the server that you're going to be working with the they, they work with what they call server all right let me just enable this now you can see the server here and uh, derive limited or uh, that's the broker then the server is derive demo so what you are connected on is derive demo so to create an account just click on your account so you're seeing there is demo there because it's a demo account click on mt5 for a real account you see there is server when you click on mt5 now you can click on create new account now you can choose if you want to create real account or you want to create a demo account if you are creating real account it means the an account that you want to be depositing real money in all right and to deposit real money in is a different tutorial together it's just as simple as abc so now what you're going to do is click on demo and then for me i've already created a synthetic indices account so i don't need to create another one synthetic indices means that you just be trading all this volatility 1 10 25 and all of that as the normal one you've been trading but the financial account means you want to be trading all those uh, forex and this thing currency pairs like uh, dollars against uh, japan yen and all those things so uh, what we are working with now is synthetic indices so for me i've created that already so i don't need to bother myself about that right now so when you create that you have to they will ask you when you're creating it you have to set your password as your login details password and you know if the password is you can use the same password as uh, your, your same binary account password and, but and you can also use a different password altogether so you can see this demo account so now if i want to log into my nt5 i have to copy this number here that's my login details copy it now i haven't done that now i'm now go to go to play store to download mt5 now either i go to, click on this go to their home page directly or 
if you click go to mt5 home page now you can see here when you click on go to mt5 home page you can see click go to it will take you to your google play store if you're using an iphone it will take you to your iphone play store so now you can see me i already have it so i don't need to download it all right because i already have it installed so what i have to do right now is to go to my phone and log in and log into my mt5 so that i see how it looks like the, the pattern so what i'm just typically going to do in this video i'm just going to show you how it looks like when you log in now this is how my mt5 look like also to log in i click on that notch this notch at the that is when you after downloading it you click on that notch that is this part here here to log in that's at the top left hand area of your screen that's here okay click there to log in and click there and click account and now you can see i had an old account here then i click on this this plus button there now when you want to log in now uh, you you search when you're you're trying to log in just search the reef and this derive limited will come up click on it now when you click on it paste that your id that you copied here you can see the way i paste them and then enter your password uh for me i'm going to enter my password right now so i hope my password is correct so when you enter your password another thing that you have to do you have to since it's a demo account change this if you're logging to real account this place will just be derive server but you're logging to a demo account so you change it to derive demo so it's a demo account then click login i just hope my password is correct because it's been a while since i used this okay login fail i think i need to add some things to this password maybe i've forgotten exactly how i created this password let me try all right i am having some miss i think i have to type in that password again all right i just i was just able to log in now. my password was in a reverse format so when you log in now you click on that account that top left area click on it and then click on quotes now this quote here now these are the different volatility markets that are offered to you now this other section here it this all section here that you are seeing display the market here display the chart of the particular market you want to work with and then the next side the next side there displays uh, after the candles area then the next area displays uh, your trade then the next area displays your profit whether you've made profit or not and then that's here you can see here whether you made profit or not here displays your position or whether you made profit for that day or not so now look at the market i'm looking at here if you want to view a market you just need to hold down on the this thing and then click on chat and then it will take you to chat and then this one is just unlike uh unlike the the option trading where you have to enter your trade whether you you are looking at five hours a chart or two hours chart that you have to enter your trade uh, in one minute or something this one if you are looking at let's say if, if you just tap on it it will this notch will display these are the different time frame you can put this your chart let's put it on five minutes tap on it again put it on 15 minutes so you can switch to view in different time frame that's 30 minutes one hour and then h4 for four hours time frame and then d1 for the one day time frame and then and then we have uh, w1 for one week time frame and then m1 for an m mn for monthly time frame so probably uh what i want to what we want to take trades in is always in one minute time frame which is good and uh, first of all before you take trade in one minute time frame you have to check one hour what is going on in one hour you can see that the market is rising in one hour then come to one minute now when you come to one minute what you need to do is there uh, to place a trade there this is where you place a trade here right here you can see here to place a trade click there that's where you have to place a trade you click here here when you place trade you place trade according to lot size let's say you have ten dollar in here now you place what you are placing trade according to your placing trade according to the list amount let's say you can place trade with uh, one dollar with uh, 0 0.1 dollar 0 0.20 dollar 0 0.30 dollar one dollar and two dollars or three dollars if you don't go to one dollar or two dollars or three dollars the, the 0 0.2 dollar you are seeing there is okay the 0 0.3 dollar is okay because if you go into one dollar two dollars it means that 
you are the lot size you're choosing is a very high lot size and it means that because this the chart is calculated by pips like each time it increases or decreases it increases according to pips all right so if you enter a trade let's say let me say you can even enter a trade from here you can enter from the chart anywhere you see this uh that button right there that's this button here you can enter you can click on it and then you'll be able to place trade so let me like enter a buy trade right now here let me click a buy i'm using 0 0.2 dollars and then i'll click buy now it makes that sound now when you enter a trade if you had like 20 dollars in here the trade will keep increasing or decreasing if it's going in your favor it will be increasing if it's not going in your favor it is decreasing you can decide to stop it at any time let's say if this trade now i've made a little profit and then i look at the chart now and i saw that the chart is going is going to go against me i come here click on it or hold down on it click and hold down and then i can close the position let's say click and hold down on it or click on the trade let me click okay see i just click and held down on it you can you can close the position close the position now if i close now the trade has been closed now you can see that the, that trade has been closed right so the trade that the trade was closed and that trade has ended you can see that if if i click here you can see that it ended with a, a 0 0.002 loss so now i can decide to enter come back here look at the chart again what's the market doing it's rising let me enter a buy trade i can enter more than one buy so the good thing about this one here is not like if you if the trade any one minute you have lost or something the good thing about this one is in a few minutes you can you, if the trade is not going according to what you planned you can decide to end the trade now let me see let me show you what i see before i play this trade i have to check in one hour what is happening in one hour you can see that the chart in one hour i see that it's the likelihood of in, of increasing profit is very high so now after placing this trade now here i'll the next thing i'm going to show to you is how to set stop loss and take profit so i hope you understand this that will be in the next video so let's see how the trade is going you can see if you lose you are not losing your entire let's say you have ten dollar you're not losing your entire ten dollar you're losing by just the fraction of the percentage that it goes down or it goes up with so you can see that right so so you can see um the result of the trade we placed during the while we're doing this tutorial so you can see the results so it's just as simple as that as subsequent uh, tutorials i'm going to show uh, much more result that this account this demo account can as accrued okay so far so good and then so whatever strategy that you get here and implement successfully you are sure to get a very good result from it from them all right so be sure one thing about trading is okay maybe i'll talk more about that later is your heart your financial stability when it comes to your heart has to be you know disciplined okay, well disciplined so that's just it okay that's just it so as progresses so knowing when to stop and knowing uh, how to stop you know it's as important as knowing uh when to start so we're going to be talking more about that later uh in subsequent videos that's going to be coming up so see you so we've gotten to this point of the video at this extreme end and uh i believe most of you are still a bit confused and those of you all that have taken your time to go through and maybe check some things about mt5 about trading on uh an mt5 method trader the trading forex you must by now you are familiar with some of these things but you know Whenever you're watching my video, please don't skip, all right? So that, because even if you are familiar with most things, there are some details, there are some detailed analysis that probably you might not know, all right? So uh, the next video that is going to be coming up is going to be about uh, detailed analysis of, of, like, telling you what every icon on the platform entails, what they mean, and so that you get familiar with them so that whenever it's mentioned in the coming videos or maybe uh, anytime, you can get familiar with them all right so um the next videos are going to be much more detailed analysis so if you don't understand this one you need to go back rewatch them and then 
you rewatch this particular video and then make sure that you know you don't skip any part all right make sure you understand every part any part that you don't understand ask questions in the comment section i'll be glad to attend to them so see you in the next video